Welcome back to Good Morning Bill. I'm just catching up with one of our favorite guests here on, on the show, Dan Smith from Vail Mountain Rescue. I tell you what, Vail Mountain Rescue, it's uh, this organization, Strictly Volunteers, and they are the people that when you get in a bind, these are the guys that help you out. And so you get to come on every Monday and tell yep. us what your week has been like. And it was a bit of a crazy day. Well, it was, it was a very slow week till Saturday, and then it just exploded. Uh, we had three missions in one day, two within five minutes. What? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we had a, a, an accident out at uh, off Horse Mountain Road at Sage Outfitters where one of their clients uh, skied or rode a snow machine off a cornice. This is uh, generally considered to be contraindicated. He was hurt. And uh, we were rolling to that one, and we got another call that we had a broken ankle up at Peter Eston Hut, which is way, way out there. Uh, and we talked with uh, Eagle Fire, who's also rolling on the Sage uh, mission. They decided they could handle it with their gear, uh, so we took all our gear and went up to Peter Eston. And it was just a broken ankle, but you can't ski out. Right. You're, you're, you've got to have somebody help you out. And uh, they didn't have a sled to take the guy out, so we brought him down. and uh, Total about three and a half hours round trip, but no problem. Then about midnight, <laughs> we get a call that a gentleman has stuck his car up off Cottonwood Pass, oh, no. where you're not supposed to go through the gate. It is a very big sign that says closed but there are ranches behind there that have the road plowed to them. And every year we get three or four people either are up there four-wheeling and get stuck, or they think this is the shortcut to basalt, which it is in summer, but not in winter. Uh, and we have to pull them out. We were able to get this gentleman's car out. We normally don't. Uh, we'll get you, but what we'll tell you is that we're Mountain Rescue, not AAA. If it's easy, we'll pull it out. We just put a strap on him and pull him out. So it was a busy evening. Very, so, very busy evening. Right, very. Yeah, so Saturday, the day. Now, yeah. so this is something where, you know, even if it's not necessarily life-threatening, you can still be there to help. Oh, because yeah. we all get in those situations. Most of our missions are not, you know, helicopter missions or hoists or, or life-threatening deals. Most of them are like this. Now, I'm not sure the condition of the gentleman at Sage, but fire got him to the hospital just as quickly as we did. There was an ambulance sitting there. Uh, the broken ankle. Uh, this guy's wife drove him to the hospital, and, and that was fine. Uh, in the car, the guy was very, very happy that we got him out, <laughs> sure. and he didn't have to spend a night sleeping in his car waiting for Big Steve's towing this morning. Right. Um, plus, I mean, there's nine inches on Beaver Creek. There's probably at least that much on Cottonwood Pass. Uh, that would have not been good, so getting him out in the night is the right answer. But still, when the, we get the call at midnight and you get out at 3, people are a little bit tired. <laughs> right. Right, so and we, again, you're, you're all volunteers, so yeah. this is something that you do because you're passionate about helping people. We all recreate in these mountains, and that's part of the responsibility is helping other people who do the same thing. Uh, there's about, oh, 40 some odd of us that are active at any one time. Uh, we've got a bunch of snow machines, a bunch of ATVs, a bunch of trucks, and several miles of rope and <laughs> various other things that help. And then on a, a mission that requires it, we can get a helicopter from the National Guard to, to take us in, take us out. But the, uh, there's a risk-benefit analysis on that. The helicopter work is inherently risky. Uh, helicopters do fall out of the sky, uh, haven't yet here. So you look at it and say, no, we're going to do this one on the ground. Or if you do a helicopter, fine, we're also going to send in a ground team because that helicopter could mechanical. It could have to turn around for any number of reasons. And then we've got a ground team going in. So we. We usually generally work both sides of that street. My gosh, it's a lot of I'll fun. Tell you what, the, I could, I really, we, I could talk to you all day. There's so, there's so much that goes into what you do, and it really is amazing. And again, all volunteers, Dan. Thank you so much for coming on this morning. It's always so great to see you. See you next Monday with yeah, more stories. I will look forward to it. So, you know, if you want to get involved or just help them with what they do, ValeMountainRescue.org, and of course, donations are always appreciated for these incredible people that just help out with any of those backcountry situations. Coming up next, we have a look at what's happening with your weather, also your UV index will be coming up. So much more ahead on your President's Day edition of Good Morning Vale.